as the closing is needed to make way for the new inner belt bridge. This is how Ontario Street looks most of the time during evening rush hour. Vehicles bumper to bumper, many trying to get out of downtown to the on-ramp for I-90 westbound. Likely it will remain congested. It, it's always been congested and that's, that's one of the reasons we're making these improvements at this intersection. Beginning overnight next to Thursday, the ramp will be closed for one year. Right now, it's directly in the path of the new span of the Interbelt Bridge now under construction. The ramp is being rebuilt to guide cars onto the new structure. When that ramp reopens next year, it will actually have two lanes on 90 westbound, which will be really helpful for motorists. In the meantime, drivers on Ontario will have to find alternate ways to get out of downtown. Some people attending the Indians game wonder how the ramp closure might impact their trips home in the future. Well, we'll just have to find another route, but I think it's going to be, uh, you know, it'll be a problem with uh, getting through the <laughs> through, through the city. Though. The entire intersection is, is very busy, but from that point, there are actually some really great options. Which would be to continue on Ontario to Broadway, then take 490 West to 90 West. Another route is to take Orange Avenue to I-77 South, then to 490 West to 90. Also, the East 14th Street ramp, which has been closed for about a year, will reopen. We're only here once in a while. I feel worse for the people that, that commute in here and have to use that bridge every day for work or going home from work. They're going to be in worse shape than we are. So.